Mabuhai, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. No one can compare to your Filipina wife. Let her know it. Um, this is a channel to help men who are interested in getting married still and are willing to try overseas, go where they're wanted, and I suggest the Philippines. That's where I met my wife, and I try to have videos to help guys. In recent videos, I talked about being patient, kind, and positive as ways to show your Filipina wife that you love her. I want to delve into making comparisons today and why your words should not convey to your wife that she doesn't measure up. Subscribe to Love Beyond the Sea. Learn down to earth and practical ways to be the type of husband any woman wants. Comments are always welcome. Now, comparison. I tell my wife often how amazing she is, and I mean it. She's my amazing Isa. That is how I named her our online you know, checking account and what I have written on her checkbook. So she sees it a lot. I know that's corny, but she needs to know how I feel about her. I tell her that no man has it better. I want to feel her to feel good about herself and that she is appreciated. And I think about her all day. I even frequently dream about her at night. I always make sure to say good night, my love, and uh, how I can dream about you. I will overstate how valuable she is to me because I care. If I were to tell her, for example, that you know, you're great, but I wish you could be more like, you know, some other women or somebody else's wife. I think that would destroy a lot of, you know, previous credit that I've built up. Now, that would definitely diffuse her enthusiasm to be the best wife that she could be. In May of 2015, it seems like yesterday, <laughs> I married her in the Philippines after only... 54 days. That's it. That's all it took. And hopefully that made her feel a little bit special at least. I need to continue to live that way all the days of our marriage. And I hope that we do have many of them. I chose her over anyone else. No one is perfect. And there are excellent qualities about many women. But I think my wife should feel like there is no woman out there like her or even but her. You don't want to make the mistake of comparing her beauty, her body, her intelligence, her accomplishments with another woman. Big mistake. I think she needs to believe that she is good enough for you and she doesn't need to do something to impress you, to keep your attention. She needs to know that you weren't comparing you know, her weaknesses to others' strengths. In fact, in our wedding vows, I wrote in mind that I would make her the apple of my eye. I have her photos around where I use the computer here. She's in my, you know, screenshot on my phone. And of course, um, you know, don't be don't be ogling other women or ooing and awing about them, you know, since you married her and not any others. We talked about the three second rule, I think, in, in another video. And what good does it do to compare her to another woman when you married her with the idea she is the only one until you die? I am interested in your comments about this. If you've experienced anything about comparing or even just looking or admiring another woman and you know how that affected your wife. If we are not going to be comparing our wives to other women, then we won't uh, we don't want to threaten to leave her for somebody else. We're not comparing her. They all have their own issues, too. Sure, when you get started looking for a wife, you are making some comparisons, comparisons because you need to find what you consider a compatible wife. And, of course, remember, don't look for Miss Perfect. Look for Miss Good Enough until you find her. Then make her know that, for you, no one compares to her and she is your only love beyond the sea.